Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting day as my friends are going to look at a flat. Um, oh, we are, oh sorry about that. We are in fact flat hunting, like apartment hunting right now for next year. Me and three other girlies are going to be living together, so that's just very, very exciting. I'm in a bit of a rush. Fashion be late, that... Can't be the case because you can't be late to a fucking pump and showing. So I'm gonna have to scurry, scurry along. What is that? So this first apartment right by like Regent's Park. So we're going there. I'm going there right now. I'm taking the bus. Yeah, I'll talk more about like what flats and stuff we're looking for later. So hey guys, later is now. <laughs> What's the date today? Sixth of June. There's literally like a few months. Um, maybe in a few months, like a few weeks after I filmed. And spoiler alert, we have a flat. <laughs> We even have the keys, but I'm not gonna spoil anything now because in this whole video would be redundant and you would just click away and watch something more interesting. So basically, what were we looking for when we were getting our flat? Obviously, there are a plethora of um plethora of aspects that I have to take into account when getting a whole new flat because of course like there's loads of stuff to think about. So what are these things? I I made a wee list. Also, are we enjoying this plant back here in the background? I Thought I needed something to you know spice up the background of my extremely dull and undecorated walls. Let's not even talk about my decorating skills. Ooh, that's a tragedy in and of itself. But yeah, this is Cammy's plant. She's sadly gone home to France, Paris, and for the summer, which is super rude. She left me here. She left me this little cute plant gift that I'm taking care of, and um, to the best of my abilities, the plant gate in me will be pulling through. So, what are these different aspects that you have to take into account? Area, of course. Area is probably the most important thing. Um, so what area, price, size of the apartment, like actual like floor space, views and windows and lights. And there's like the level of refurbishment, which basically means like how well kept it is, like how modern and like amenities, like how like, you know, fresh it is, that's important. So what were we looking for? First off is area. We all study at UCL. So we want to be kind of like in walking distance of UCL, of course. You need to be cheap for the bus every morning. Could be quite the hassle. What areas were we looking for? King's Cross, kind of Camden, Marlebone, or like Fitzrovia. These are all in like in walking distance to UCL. Really, like Marlebone and Fitzrovia are a bit more expensive. Um, and then price. Pricing we decided to go for a similar, but like preferably a bit cheaper than student accommodation. Because girl. Because girl. Unis fucking rip rip people off when they set the prices of their accommodation. Like, we paid so much more than like what the space and what the space of the location is really good. Maybe they aren't ripping us off. Mm. They are. I had a fucking mouse in my room, um, which came into this massive hole. I'll show you the hole later. But yeah, that was, no, no, no. We definitely overpaid for. Accommodation, but it was iconic. I do not regret a single day here. I can't not. It's been the best life ever. But for next year, we're gonna have to step it down a notch price wise. Size, we weren't really too fussed about about size, just so that we could, of course, like have our own rooms and kind of a cute kitchen and living area. The views were really important for me. I knew it was a sky. I really wanted like a cute land, like view, or, like land on the street. Preferably, I would prefer. Well, I already know exactly what we got. So I'm not gonna spoil anything, but my pref preference was it to be like first or second floor, so you could at least like see out on the street, have big windows. And kind of, you know, enjoy London. Enjoy the view of London, you know, because that's what I'm here for, at least. And then refurbishment, we wanted it, like, fresh, like, nothing, like, too extreme. But we wanted it to be livable. Because, girls, some of the places that you're going to see here in this vlog, I must simply pass away. I must simply pass away when thinking back to the state of <coughs> some of those Places. Those are the things that we kind of took into account. I literally just made this up now, like <laughs> two weeks after we've already got the keys to our apartment. But fuck it. I'm just I'm just making it for the sake of you guys. Because these are the things that I basically did think I ended up thinking about in the end. Some tricks from uh, Philip the flat hunter himself. <laughs> literally a pro, like you guys could never. Just kidding, you can never get a level of Skylar's flat hunting skills and if like, they were queens. I do not find a single apartment. I did nothing. 
Oh, not me exposing myself, but I did go to like a lot of viewing, so I'll, I do have that. On to the video, time for the first, first flat. So hey guys, I just arrived back home from that first viewing and my general thoughts were actual rooms that were like normal size were like fantastic. They were so big, so spacious, you know, so those massive windows. The light was so good. All the rooms were like really big and like literally perfect. You could not ask for a better room. Of course there was this fourth room that was like very, very tiny and of course like we're living four people in a flat. We couldn't really find a fair way to allocate like that room to a person because even like of course you can pay less rent but still like I just don't think it would have been worth for anyone. I'm in a state of dismay. So basically, oh, I'm getting running over. Um, trash, my home, that should be my home. So basically, I am quite sad due to the fact that the guy who'd booked like the viewing, he didn't put the appointment in. So nobody showed up. I came here for literally no reason. But anyways, like the actual building, like he is gonna book one like they see the building Act Ooh, chill people god the caffeine is making me very aggressive right now i need caffeine right now go shopping god no what is okay well see you later flat number three guys or like more correctly flat number two because the last one I wasn't let into, so that was super rude. Today we are going to see a flat in Camden Ooh. at three o'clock. But I also have this wonderful paint salad that I always get from a waitress, because you know I live that bougie bougie life. Our search is going pretty well, and um, Skylar and Jade are coming through with the flat suggestion. It's because the London housing flat market is so quick. Like new like flats come up every single day. But that also means that if you do find like a flat that you like, you have to act like super quickly, like on the day even, like bake an offer because otherwise somebody else will uh, gobble it, gobble it up. Somebody else will like take it because it's just so quick. We were planning on moving in in June sometime. So that is literally in less than three weeks. So we will be searching intense, intensely, intensely. Let's not even talk about English today. So yeah, basically, that's the plan. It'd be a no. There's a no. What are our thoughts about this one? Um, it was absolutely awful. It was Disgusting. not it. We actually got catfished. The um, photos are unrealistic. Yes, put us on the program catfish and we will put this place here because that was a no. The search continues. Yep. Yes, yes, we love that. No! <gasps> that, uh, I don't know. Storage space, I guess. Yeah, and then the bathroom's upstairs for here. 
Hello guys, today is the um, 25th of May. We are on flat viewing number four now. Four, yeah, so I have a flat viewing at um, 1.45. At 2.45, so now later we have another flat viewing, which is very exciting. So we have two today. You guys, when I'm back. <laughs> Sorry for my YouTube. Might be the future flat. Very well furbished. This one's nice. It's plenty of space in the white room. It's nice. Yes. Mm. Yes. This is such a cute area though, like this is the perfect area. It's like by our waitress. Yeah, waitress. Good morning, guys. I know, we love that. Oh, I'm looking rough today, but that's just topic. Oh, take a bath. That one doesn't have a nice bit, window, but it has the best bathroom. Okay, right, that's okay, that's okay. One, I think it's the one. I think it's the one. Ah! <laughs> yeah. After this, our search for a flat came to a sudden halt. You guys may be wondering why, or maybe guessing why. And that is because we got a flat. We made an offer on one of the flats. Can you guys guess which one it is? Give it a go. Drum roll, please. Flat number seven. Guys, we made off on flat number seven and we got it, we got it, we got it. Woo! Can you believe, uh, can't you believe our relief, our excitement after all of these crazy flats that we went and viewed? It was a journey, it was a journey, but we got the flats and we even negotiated down the price quite a bit. So we are thriving. <laughs> You can see in my side, and it's been two weeks. Imagine me two weeks ago, girl. I was screaming, I was screaming, and I was jumping around and running everywhere. So, yeah, we got the lease for a year, and we might get two years if we behave. You know, if we behave, we hope that's gonna happen. For flat number seven, I absolutely adored the flat. The location was perfect. It's right south of King's Cross, which is like a five minute walk from here, so it's amazing. So close to UCL. Like, find the rooms might not be the biggest, but it was really, like, well furbished. The kitchen was super fresh, and I feel like we can make it really, really cute. I know Skylar has a lot of, like, cute Pinterest boards that we're gonna decorate the whole place with. Um, so yeah, that's the end of this journey. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually really did find it quite, quite fun. So yeah, my next video might just be a move-in vlog where I buy furniture for my new room and decorate even though I fucking suck at it but fuck it I'm gonna do it anyway somehow somehow but yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it I'll see you in the next video but uh that should be coming up soon bye bye